Hey there folks, I'm here to talk to you today about a young adult novel called Hatchet. It was written by Gary Paulson in 1987. It is actually the first book in a five book series. The book chronicles the tale of Brian Robeson. He's a 13 year old boy and his parents have recently become divorced. His father is working in Canada in the oil fields over the summer and Brian is going up to visit him. Uh, the way that the divorce worked out, he gets summer visitations with his father and he spends the rest of the year with his mom. So his mom buys him a hatchet as a gift before he goes. He attaches it to his belt and kind of forgets about it. He flies in a little teeny Cessna plane up through Canada. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been on a little Cessna. These little guys right here, they're super shaky, super loud, and very scary. So I don't imagine this was a fun trip for Brian. So the pilot and him are flying through the wilderness of Canada over the forests and the pilot eventually lets him take the controls for a little while and teaches him a little bit about flying. And then shortly after some complications arise, the pilot begins to complain about some pain in his left shoulder. He has some really bad flatulence that Brian is noticing and trying not to notice. He doesn't want to be rude. Well, it turns out the pilot is having a massive heart attack and he dies while the plane is in flight in the middle of the wilderness, in the middle of Canada, like this. Brian doesn't know what to do, he's a 13 year old boy. So he continues to fly the plane straight until it runs out of gas. He crashes it into a little lake and gets out just in time and all he has is the clothes on his back and the hatchet attached to his belt. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, really good lessons in here for kids about survival, about divorce, about perseverance. Uh, one of my favorite aspects of the book is Brian's biggest enemy is himself. So he has to learn to overcome himself in the process. So this is a quote from the book. It's one of my favorites. It's after uh, his first night or two there, he kind of breaks down and just cries all night. And the next day he's like thinking about it and reflecting on it and he says that, he did not know how long it took, but later he looked back on this time of crying in the corner of the dark cave and thought of it as when he learned the most important rule of survival, which was that feeling sorry for yourself didn't work. It wasn't just that it was wrong to do or that it was considered incorrect. It was more than that. It didn't work. So over the course of the book, Brian learns to overcome himself and different obstacles. Uh, there are a lot of obstacles along the way. He runs in, has an encounter with a porcupine, nasty little bugger. Um, has some complications with a skunk. <sighs> and uh, eventually even runs into a moose. So, yeah, it's kind of daring. Oh, there's also a tornado too. So Brian goes through a lot in the process of uh, the time that he's out in the wilderness. I'm not gonna tell you if he survives, if he's rescued or not. You're gonna have to read the book to find that out for yourself. Gary Paulson, this guy right here, wrote this book in 1987. I wanted to share a quote with you from him. He says, why do I read? I just can't help myself. I read to learn and to grow, to laugh and to be motivated. I read to understand things I've never been exposed to. I read when I'm crabby, when I've just said monumentally dumb things to the people I love. I read when I'm angry at the whole world. I read when everything is going right. I read to find hope. I read because I'm made up not just of skin and bones, of sights, feelings, and a deep need for chocolate, but I'm also made up of words. Words describe my thoughts and what's hidden in my heart. Words are alive. When I've found a story that I love, I read it again and again, like playing a favorite song over and over. Reading isn't passive. I enter the story with the characters breathe their air, feel their frustrations, scream at them to stop when they're about to do something stupid, cry with them, laugh with them. Reading for me is spending time with a friend. A book is a friend. You can never have too many. What great advice. If you decide to take on this novel, if you've never read it before, it is a fairly easy read. It comes in at just under 200 pages. I would recommend that you go at it with the way that Gary Paulson goes about his reading. Fall into the story with Brian. Breathe the air with him. Go through the tragedies with him. Experience the trouble. It's a big part of what makes this book so powerful. Life is often about survival, and that's a big part of what this book is about. It might be survival in the wilderness, 
but it chronicles a lot of different aspects of growing up and the challenges that kids face with their parents along the way, especially when it comes to divorce and infidelity and things that ruin marriages. So, highly recommend it. Give it a look.